Good morning, welcome to the next podcast of Annie Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Uh, it's a bit of a tense morning at the Test match this morning, so um, hopefully England can just build a bit more of a lead and then uh, probably get 200, hopefully, and he's over the lines sort of tomorrow, really, I suppose it's going to be the last day. It's been another good Test match, so uh, come on England, and come on Liverpool this afternoon at Wembley against Chelsea. Uh, hopefully they'll play like they did against Chelsea the other week and give them a bit of a hammering, so... Uh, Touching wood. Anyway, uh, back to last week and the Ken Farn situation. We need to know the, or what Keith wanted to know, the uh, uh, wife of Norman, who was Ken's brother. And thanks to Barry Phillips, um, Norman's wife um, was Florence Mary Small. And they had two children, Joan and David. So uh, I imagine it was Joan that um, came into the museum. So there's an answer for you. Keith, so uh, thanks to Barry for that, and uh, uh, glad it's cleared up. So anyway, so uh, yeah, been a good week here, bits and pieces turned up. Um, some nice bits on uh, DJ Knight, actually, I was quite pleased with DJ Knight, the old Surrey player. Uh, fairly rare signatures of stuff for um, DJ Knight. So this is the one that came through, which is a lovely one here with a signature. This is from the Goldman Collection, so I was quite happy with that. I mean, he was quite a good player, um, DJ Knight, and uh, played for England a couple of times, but unfortunately got a smack on the head with a ball when he was fielding at um, short in, um, or close into the wicket, should I say. So uh, that affected his um, form, unfortunately. But anyway, he was a good player, So uh, and I think he got 205 again for Sutton against Wimbledon when he went back into club cricket, so very useful. So that got me going on a couple of bits that's uh, on the DJ Knight side. First of all, got this lovely, this lovely um, autograph book here, which has got DJ Knight in it, and uh, it should have been adopted the looks of it because there's his writing. There's his writing there. Look, it says, uh, "Sorry, I've been so long about this. Better late than never." It's a nice one there. Many thanks, and best and uh, for your big message. So, um, quite a nice signature there in this book. And DJ Knight, so quite a rare signature. Um, so quite pleased to have a couple now. So um, that's that one. And here's another one that I showed a few months ago. Actually, this is DJ Knight at the pyramids. So we still can't quite find out why or when he went on the pyramids or a trip to the pyramids. So he went on a ship somewhere and uh, possibly went to Australia. Who knows? On one of the grand tours. So um, anyway, so that's a nice photograph there of DJ Knight on a camel. I'm quite pleased to have uh, got that a few uh, months ago. Um, and a bit of a quirky one here. We've got uh, coronation tickets there for uh, 1937. DJ Knight, uh, how many in the family there? Uh, DJ, MMR Knight and PM Knight. And uh, yeah, quite a quirky thing. Well, I've had these a number of years now, which uh, I'm quite pleased to have actually. Quite a rarity. There's a ticket there. The uh, Abbey Grandstand for the coronation of uh, the king there. So that's quite a nice little addition to the collection. So an another nice thing that came through this week was um, SF Barnes. Um, lovely photograph here of F S SF Barnes, as we know. And this is when he was uh, practicing at the uh, Red Lion. Um, he just signed a contract at 61 years old for Smedic. So uh, that's a nice um, press photograph there. Got all the information on the back there. So very pleased to have that. So obviously there's a few other um, SF Barnes bits and pieces, including this one here, which is his signature in the book here. There's a nice signature there of SF Barnes. That's in the single autograph books. And then we've got... Um, these two here, we've got 1907 when he's, uh, this is Sydney here, 1907. A nice homemade jumper there by the looks of things. And then he's bowling here at Lord's. This is about 1930-something. Uh, nice one there, Vessif Barnes bowling. And another one here, this is not, this is 1931, so it's obviously not um, Smethwick, but uh, library pictures of Liverpool, so it's not far, I'm not quite sure who we'd have played for in that uh, 1931, but I can soon look that up, I suppose. So I should have done before I showed those. 
Um, the other thing that turned up this week is this is uh, was John McKenzie's um, catalog, all on Wisdoms here. So if you want an original Wisdom, it's fourteen grand in the front. I think is the uh, first one, eighteen sixty four, fourteen thousand quid. So deep pockets, I hope. But uh, well done, John, for that catalog number two hundred and sixteen. Um, another thing that turned up this week was this lovely card, CMS card. So the collection goes on with these. This is Bob Blair, card number 20, and number 98 of 100, so that's a nice one there. Um, snared on eBay this week. And then another one that was snared on eBay was this one here, which is a continuing collection of the 1903-4 team that um, beat Australia in Australia, the first MCC side. So these are 1904 cards here, so we've got a nice one there of Ari Foster. We, have, we know we've got 287 on test debut. And then uh, we've got another one there. This is I've had this a while, this one here. We've got um, Ted Arnold there, Worcestershire player. And then the one I showed last week of uh, Wilfred Rose. So there's a few more of those to get. I think about, I think it might be 12 to get there. I think perhaps, I can't remember if it's 13 or 15 in the touring party. But anyway, so anyway, that's about it for this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll uh, see you on the next one. And come on Liverpool this afternoon. Cheers. Have a good week.